Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn about to check whether the entered number is an Armstrong number or not. So Armstrong number is the number for which if you find sum of cubes of each digit is equal to the total sum, total actual digit, so then we call it as Armstrong number. So let's take for example, so 371 is the input number. So what we'll do is I'm, we need to check 3 power 3 cube plus we need to write 7 cube plus we need to write 1 cube. So if we get the same value as 371 then that is called Armstrong number. So 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27 and we need to find 1 cube which is 1 and 7 7 is a 49 and we need to find 49 into 7. So let's see that. So so we can quickly say find it like we can assume like 15 to 7 and uh, it's 350 and we can subtract from that we can stop subtract 7 we will get the value 3 4 3 so I'm going to write here 3 4 3 and let's add this so you can see here 7 8 and 11 so I'm going to put here 1 and 4 6 7 so we are getting 371 so the sum of cubes of the individual digits is equal to the same number then we call it as Armstrong number so if we are entering 371 if we get the value as 371 that's called an Armstrong number so let's take one more example let's take 142 so in this case if we find cubes like 1 cube is 1 plus 4 cube 4 4 are 16 and 16 4 64 and plus 2 cubed, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So in this case, we are only getting uh, 73. So in this case, this is not an answer number. So now we are going to write the logic for it. So what we need to do is we need to get the digits from the entered number. So we need to find the individual digits from the number and then we need to find cubes of it. Now let's think about the logic now. So let me open MS Paint and we will try to analyze it how we are going to approach it. Now let's take the number which is input number is 371. So the logic that we are going to write now is to get the last value of this, to get the last value of this we need to find, we need to divide with modulo 10. When you divide any number with modulo 10 you will get the reminder which is the last number. So in this case you will get 1. So let's take for example 65. When you do 65 modulo 10 you will get the last number which is 5. So once you get the last number you have to remove this number and then get the last number from this and remove this and and get the last number from the remaining. So that's the logic that we are going to follow. So I will explain how to do this and let's say this. Let's take the input number is 371. First we get the last number using modulo 10 and which is uh, which is equal to 1 and then we will write 371 by 10 so when you divide with 10 so ideally you should get 37 37.1 but in this case it will round off to 37 because you declare as integer so integer will round it off to 37 and once you get 37 get the last number by using modulo 10 and that is 7 and again divide with 10 to remove so 10 so that will give you 3 and again do modulo 10 that will give you 3 so and when you do again 10 so that will become 0 so until you get 0 keep on pro com continue this process to get the last number and remove that last number remove it and get all the digits and once you get it find the sum of cubes so we are going to do this logic now and let's get started so as always you can use editor of your choice the program which I'm going to type now you can either use Turbo C editor, Dev C++ or Visual Studio Community Edition or any other editor of your choice which is a, which has a C Sharp com C compiler so I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Community Edition and let's get started the first thing as always include std, std, stdivo.h and then I'm going to write include uh, conivo.h and then I'm going to write author I'm going to write my name and then I'm going to write here the purpose so the purpose of this program is to to read a number and check if it is Armstrong number or not right and as always main method is a place where program execution starts and I always use tell like this first step is variable declaration 
and the second step is read data from user and the third step is the logic right so let's get started the first thing is we need to read some value from the user and for that I'm going to use here in TN so and then what we need is we need to loop through uh, the number and we need to get the uh, reminder so for reminder I'm going to use so first if you take this input number as yen and we are going to do modulo 10 and then we will get here the reminder so which is like 371 so we'll get the reminder as one so for that we need one variable and so that's the reminder and then we need one more for the result so for a uh, result R E S. so the result is like uh, uh, un so let's put here one other variable like uh, I'm going to put here yum so yum is used to store the resultant let's take for example you are going to write 371 and I'm going to divide with 10 so I will store this uh, 37 in yum so anyway let's write the logic and then I will explain you clearly right and what else we need so we need to find the result so result I'm initializing to 0 so we will add result plus cube of the result right we are going to write it now what we are going to do is I'm going to store uh, now let's read the number from the user so printf enter any number and then we need to store it into n value so we will be using scanf and person d for integer and ampersand n and then what we will do here is we need to write the logic now what I'm going to do now is I am going to take a backup of this input number n into yum value because at the end I need to print whether this is Amstrad number or not so I'm not going to divide it with 10 now I'm going to write here m is equal to n. so I took the backup into n. now what I'm going to do is while m greater than 0 so if the number m exists I'm going to get here reminder is equal to m modulo 10 okay so I took the last digit I got the last digit of m into reminder now what I have to do I have to divide m is equal to m by 10 now I remote so now here m value is equal to n value so it is 371 now I'm getting the last value using this reminder of 1 m is equal to m by 10 now that becomes 37 because I declared them as integers it will not store decimal value 37.1 so it will only store 37 right and now what I have to do is the result I have to add result is equal to result plus the reminder cube so reminder star reminder star reminder so in this case it will first the loop will start with 371 and this will be 1 this will be 37 and re result plus 0 plus 1 cube and then plus now m value is 37 greater than 0 so now it will be 7 and this will become now 3 and now the result is already 1 so 7 cube so that will be 343 and now plus now here m by 10 this will become 3 now so 3 greater than 0 so 3 modulo 10 is 3 and m by 10 this becomes 0 and result plus uh, now 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 and now it will come here so m value is 0 and if this value result is equal to the n value is this equal to the n value input then we are going to print it as an Einstein number so we are done with the logic now let's write it now if if result is equal to n that means that the sum of cubes is equal to now printf I'm going to write here percent d is is an strong number and in case of person D I need to print uh, n value and else I just want to print f person D is person D is not an strong number okay so we are done with this and in case of person D I need to print n so we are already done with the logic so we don't need this comment now so let me remove this and this is the logic uh, this is the logic okay so now let me execute this and let's test if it works or not I'm, I'm going to give here get ch just to ensure that um, the cursor will wait there to for us to see the output let's run this program
and I'm executing the program. Now you can see the console window here. So I'm going to enter 371, which is an answer number. Yes, it's working fine. And let me execute this once again, and let's check if it works with any other number like 140, which is not an answer number. You can see here, not an answer number. So let's check with one more answer number, which is 370. So I'm going to write here 370, which is also an answer number, 370. Now you can see here, it is printing as answer number. So I hope you are clear with this and uh, you understood this. Now, as always, I am preparing a document and uh, I will be, if you need the latest copy of this programs, which I am preparing, so I'm adding this program in this document. So now, currently we are into program number, program number, program number 12. So, so which is program to, to check extra number and I'm pasting the C code that we have written now here so I'm going to copy this copy this and I am going to paste it now if you need this material feel free to drop a mail to me or you can fill it in my YouTube channel once you go to my YouTube channel and uh, in the in the more section of the video there will be a link and you can click on the link to fill your details and I will be sending you so I will be adding this link here once I publish this video and uh, you can get the, get this code, complete code from me by filling your details in the description section of YouTube. So thanks for watching. Hope you are clear with this program and do remember to subscribe for more videos and also share with your friends. Thank you and have a great day.